Okay, you guys, I um, went and pulled out my Posh Pigment samples and put them against the book to see which ones I liked. And I really like that one. That one is Red Carmine, I think. Yeah, Red Carmine. And I really like, this is the copper, but it really throws off a pink tone. And I think the pale gold are the three colors that I'm going to use on this border. So I'm gonna set those aside. And so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to base coat the whole thing in um, Dixie Belle drop cloth. This is what I used to base coat these books. So I'm gonna base coat the whole thing in that. And then I'm going to use this pretty color, the red carmine, in all of these little pieces because they kind of look like floral in between here. And I think I'll use the copper to do the outlines of each of these. And then maybe the pale gold in the center of each one of these. So we'll see how it comes out. That's, that's what my plan is for the moment. So I'm gonna leave these little inspiration pieces there. I'm gonna, I dried my book with a hair dryer, but I'm still going to just leave it sitting open to air dry. And let's get started. So I'm going to use the Dixie Belle drop cloth, which is just a beautiful color. And I'm going to use this on the whole piece. Okay, next I painted this with um, a base coat of drop cloth, Dixie Belle drop cloth. And now I'm getting ready to use the uh, Would You Bend Posh, Posh Pigments. And these are, these are awesome, you guys. Um, and you can either use the Would You Bend Posh Pigment Infuser or you can use um, your satin top coat, your Dixie Belle satin top coat, whatever you prefer to use. I'm going to use the infuser because I have it. Um, and it just takes the tiniest bit. Oh, I haven't had this open for a while. Let me stop this and go open. Okay. I find when these jars won't open, if you just go bang them flat down like that on a hard surface floor, I can usually get them open. And I'm just gonna take a little bit, let's see, I think I wanna take my powder first. So I'm going to, on my little palette here, doesn't take very much and that's one of the things I really really like about this is it uses very little product but your result is big and then you just take a few drops and this was shook really well because I just shook it on the floor to get it to open and it just takes a few drops and then you just stir it up. I think 
think it could use a little bit more infuser. There's static, there's static going on here. We'll see how far we get, because I don't need a whole lot. There's a lot on my little palette here. So I'm just going to paint these little floral areas in here. And I thought it was best to do all of this painting first before I glue it onto the book. That way I don't have to be as careful about getting the edges, uh, when I'm painting the edges, having to be careful around the decoupage tissue. Let's make things as easy as possible. I think that color is super pretty, you guys. Matches that perfect. And there's so many ways you could do this. You don't have to do what I'm doing. Um, you could just paint it over with the drop cloth and then use um, Van Dyke glaze, brown glaze, and then wipe it back and it would darken up all of that detail. And you could take gilding wax and just go over the highlights of it be another really pretty way and I might do that on one of the other books. 